All right, so I've been working on my bag. This is the top. All right. And I am almost out of yarn. So I'm going to show you how I add more. I usually try to stop when I have when I get to about the knot right before the end. So I already cut out my pieces since you already know how to do that. And all you have to do is just like you did before and you just add it to the yarn itself. Sometimes, most of the time when you're crocheting you have to like add a whole new thing of yarn but since we can, since we're building our own yarn you can add it to the yarn and then you don't have to worry about hiding ends or anything. And I usually just do a whole bag and then go some more and then do another whole bag and then go some more. It's just like you did before. Okay. And um, this is about, yeah, I want a shorter one this time. This one's really long. I really don't need it to be this long. So we're going to make it a little bit shorter. And you should know it's got, probably going to stretch out a little bit. And when you make your, when you start to make your bottom, it's probably going to make it seem about, a, it's going to come down kind of roundish. So it will be a little bit longer than this when it's finished. Okay, so let's see. Right now, this half is about a row taller than this half. So I'm going to keep going until it seems like it's about even. So like we were doing before, just do your regular single crochet all around. You can kind of see how I'm doing it now where I'm just pulling it through the other two loops instead of taking it off with my fingers. It goes a lot faster that way. Let's see, have I gotten, no, a couple more. I do it kind of slow so you can see, but the other method, this goes way faster. <laughs> this is how I've been doing it. I've probably done this in maybe 15 minutes. I think as soon as you get going, it goes pretty quickly. All right, that looks about even to me all the way around. I just kind of eyeball it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. If one side is a little bit shorter than the other side, it won't really matter. Okay, so now we are just going to decrease all the way around. So to do that, we are going to go through one loop like we did before, pull a piece up. And now you're going to go to the next loop, pull a piece up. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops. So that will make those two loops go down to just one. All right. And I just do this all the way around in a circle, and I keep going and going and going until um, it kind of finishes itself off. So through one, pull a piece up. Through the next loop or stitch, pull a piece up. And I need more yarn. Let's see. Pull this through real quick. Okay. Leave that there. Sorry. Probably edit this out. Oh, it's sticky. Now you can get another demonstration of adding the pieces.
right, I'll probably need like one more bag to finish. All right, so back into my loop. All right, through one, pull it through. Next one, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through all of them. All right. And the next video will show the end.